Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Holly with Besotted Orchids. I would like to tell you a little bit today about what's going on, new growth, things to look forward to, maybe another new orchid I snuck off and got yesterday. So let's begin. Here we have a new to me orchids. I, I don't, I have never raised these before, but of course everybody got on the catacetum bandwagon last year. They had to have the millennial magic, which my daughter did buy for me. But this one here, oh, I, I just, when it bloomed for me last year, it came from Carmela. It was fabulous. This is Cycnotes Wine Delight. A very deep, deep, rich red color. And the scent was amazing. Dark, dark cherries. The darkest of cherry smells. I, you just would walk by it and, and it was heavily scented. You, I kept it at the living room entryway. When you walked in, you could smell it. Beautiful for decorating. I like to move my orchids around the house when they're in bloom. I love to have them decorating my home. Millennial Magic, which yesterday, this revealed itself to me. I was so excited. I was like, okay, no roots yet, but here comes the new growth. Now these, they don't look like much. They look actually in horrible shape. They look terrifying, but this is exactly the way they're supposed to look this time of year. They lose their roots from last year. You can actually unpot them. Just some people put them in a box and just wait till spring, get them out and repot them. They will develop a whole brand new root system as my sick notice is doing. And they will get large. You will have, well, let me pan out. You'll have something more like this on top. With the big leaves, big fan type leaves. Very, very pretty. So I'm looking forward, they will spin, they, they will not be watered after I plant them. They will not be watered until I see considerable root growth. I need to see if there's a lot of roots growing in there. Then I will begin slowly misting them and then move on to watering, followed a few weeks later by some fertilizing. And then throughout the summer when they're really pushing the growth, hev heavily fertilize them. Because they grow very, very quickly. Now, over here, Another one my little enabler daughter purchased for me. This is Sophralalia Catlea. And I don't know if you can see with the light. Hold on, I'm going to turn it around. Right there. Something's coming into the sheath. And I'm very excited because it bloomed last for me in September. So I was not expecting anything, anything new right this early. But here's a new growth. Very happy, shiny new growth. And it's red, beautiful red with a little bit of yellow in the center. Over here for growth today, new surprises. Here is the Hannah Papal. A new bud forming. And Incan Treasure. And it's getting a nice fat bud inside, I'm excited. they will be the first time blooming for me for the Incan Treasure. These are Phragmopediums, they live in this bowl, I don't know if you can see the water in there. I always keep it moist. I always try to keep an inch or so of water in there. Not more, I, I don't go crazy with it. But they like to have their feet wet. And these came from Equigenera. They came the whole way from Ecuador. And I, I adore my Ecuadorian orchids. Species, lots of frags I've purchased from them, oncidiums, just, they're wonderful. They've always come in great shape. Over here, some new growth. This is my Williams drum beat. Very large cat. Have a nice sheath forming here. These grow upstairs in my southern exposure window. This will be a huge pink, just what you imagine when you tell somebody about an orchid. They're like, oh, this is what I'm gonna think about. This is, this is that orchid, very fragrant. And, and it has bloomed multiple times for me. Now over here, first time bloomer for me will be Toshi's Magic Doris, BLC, Brassolalia Catlea. So it's another hybrid. I'm pretty excited about that. And it has new growth also, so we may be looking at several, several spikes this year. I'm gonna skip ahead and show you what came home with me yesterday. My son and I did take a rainy day trip down to Columbus to Groovy Plant Ranch. And the minute I came into the orchid area, this was setting up high. Of course, being a short person, there it is. Boom, it catches your eye very quickly. 
It will have large pink flowers with a deep pink center. This is a thias orchid, also known as a swamp orchid, or the nun's hood. I'm excited to see this bloom. They had one in bloom there, but I'm not one to buy one in bloom if I can get one in bud that I can enjoy the entire process. This one, hopefully very soon, will be opening. And yes, there are a few little, little spots, but I'm not worried that they're a fungus or anything. Really, really pretty plant. Now, this is a terrestrial. And being a swamp orchid, it's going to like the water. And I tell you how I water them. All of my orchids, actually, go into this pot. This one, because it's in bloom, will get a quarter teaspoon of better bloom fertilizer in it. I just set it in it. I use my little measuring cup to kind of flood the top. And this one, being that it's going to like a lot of water, it's going to sit a good 20 minutes. Because I don't, I don't know what's going on with it at the greenhouse. You, you don't know when the last time was they watered. You, you don't know when the last time was they fertilized. So when you get it home, just start it out on your, on your regimen. Beautiful, beautiful. I couldn't resist. Which also led to a stop at the Goodwill because I didn't have a pot large enough to showcase this one. Over here, some new little buds coming out. This is a no ID, it no ID, um, den nobly. Now I'm gonna tell you this one up here, it looks like it's throwing a kiki, it is. But also, this one I have found throughout the years does blooms and cakey at the same time. So I'm not thinking, oh, I've missed my bloom show. No, it's, it's forming a nice root. It's going to be cakey, but it's also going to give me some flowers. It has various buds coming on it, but see, there's another one. They're, they're just scattered throughout the plant. This is older growth. But yeah, a huge no ID from Carmella. But, and here's an orchid pot. And I want to tell you, with these orchid pots, if you're going to purchase them, use them as they're intended. Put your plant down in there. Put your bark around it. This is made for orchids. You don't have to do plastic pots. You don't have to do all that. Get your orchid in there where it's breathing. It's happy. You can check on the roots. If a few roots come out the side, who cares? That's what they do in nature. They're just climbing around on their trees. They're fine. They're happy. Over here, I have another Den Nobly. This is Spring Dream. It has a few buds on it, which I was not expecting because I did get it in bloom towards the fall last year at Carmella. Over here, I have my Zygopetalum, Advanced Australia. A nice spike forming on it. Now I've been talking to my plants because I do have an orchid talk coming up the first week of April and I'm like, kick it into gear. I want lots of blooms at my orchid talk. So, step it up Advanced Australia. You're going to the orchid talk. Now over here, I wanted to show you this one. This is my Phyokylanthe kryptonite that I saw another YouTuber, Matthew in Melbourne, hello plant lovers. He showcased this plant. And I had to have it. And after a quick search, I found it at Hauserman in Chicago. It has bloomed for me already and it's sending up more. And there's more on the other side. So I am very happy with this. In fact, when I walked into Groovy Plant Ranch yesterday and saw this, that's what I thought it was. Very similar growth habit. Over here, look at the beautiful leaf. Oh my goodness. This is a spike coming on. My Psychopsis Mendenhall. This one was purchased off eBay. I believe a lady in Akron is where I got this. Another Den Nobly. Little buds. You can see the old growth. You don't want to cut the old canes off. Just because they look old and shriveled, they're still, they're still going to be producing a few buds on any node that was left over where they didn't produce one in, in the past. So I believe that's it for what I have doing cool things. Any more I will update you on. I'm sure the Oncidiums are going to be throwing spikes. More Cattleyas coming out. We're moving into longer days, which means growth. 
Watch your orchids, they're gonna be growing. They're gonna need more fertilizer, they're gonna need more nutrients, more water. They're moving into their time. So thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day.